My name is Adam Hellerman, but everyone calls me Bug. I live in Riverton, Massachusetts, a small town notable for fishing, tourism, and the Riverton Ripper. The Ripper was killed 16 years ago today, the very night that seven of us here were born. A serial killer believed to be dead returns to his hometown to terrorize seven teens whose birthday happens to fall on the date of his funeral. The film is directed by horror master Wes Craven. My family's from Haiti. And down there, they don't say that someone like him has multiple personalities. What do they say he has? Multiple souls. About three years ago, I had the idea of a, of a man who was being treated for multiple personality disorder, but was a good man and had five personalities that were benign, and he was under treatment with a doctor. Um, but the tragedy comes when this man discovers that he has a personality he does not know about, mm -hmm. and that personality uh, makes him into a killer in a way that the man's not even aware that he wakes up in the middle of the night and goes out and kills people. And then the thought was, how do I make this relatable to kids? And I thought, well, if this man is killed or seems to be, be killed, what happens to those personalities if they went into the next generation? So this is a film about the seven kids born on the night that man died. And on their 16th birthday, what happens? They're asking for it. There's definitely people, <laughs> yeah, and like every kind of, you know, horror genre film, we're like, okay, well, we immediately kind of don't like this person, yeah. so. They're for sure done, <laughs> you know. And yeah, or you know, they they seem they seem like they need to be taught a lesson or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's this or something, some moral. Yeah. This, we like this person way too much. Yeah, you know? yeah. Did you fall? I was burying a friend. My condor, Brandon ruined it. I gave it a decent burial. <laughs> you give me a start. Why, you think I killed somebody? In yet another contribution to the 3D debate, Craven defends his decision to take his film 3D, even though it was shot as 2D. This film was not filmed with the idea of 3D. This came along after, in post-production, and in the opportunity, and I suddenly became aware that there was a process of making a film 3D when it wasn't shot that way. And in fact, that process allows uh, some manipulation to the film that you can't do if you shot it with 3D mm -hmm. cameras. But uh, the studio was very interested in me using it as another tool, which is what I did. So there's very subtle shifts in the dimension. And it's not about the, you know, the axe flying through the air into the audience, but it's about very subtle things. And I think that is the real future of 3D, where it'll be used in ways that the audience is hardly aware of, but is, is changing the way they perceive the film. Oh, my God, I'm in it. <laughs>